Hi, and welcome to our Telehealth video information series. I'm Garvin, and this video is on combigen drops. So what are combigen drops used for? They're used for open angle glaucoma, also for raised pressure in the eye or ocular hypertension. So how does combigen work? Combigen eye drops contain two active ingredients, brimonidine tartate and timolol malate. These are both medicines that decrease raised pressure within the eye. They work in different ways to produce a combined effect greater than either medicine produces on its own. The pressure within the eyeball is naturally maintained by a continuous flow of liquid called aqueous humor through the eyeball. The aqueous humor is produced by a part of the eye called the ciliary body. It drains out of the eyeball through channels called the trabecular meshwork. If the outflow of aqueous humor is blocked, as in glaucoma, the aqueous humor builds up inside the eye, increasing the pressure within the eyeball. This pressure needs to be reduced, as otherwise it can damage the optic nerve and impair vision as a result. Brimonidine is a type of medicine called an alpha agonist. It works by stimulating alpha receptors found on the blood vessels that supply the ciliary body. This causes the blood vessels to constrict and reduces the amount of watery fluid that filters out of the blood vessels to form aqueous humor. Brimonidine therefore works by reducing the inflow of aqueous humor into the eyeball, which decreases the pressure within the eye. Timolol is a type of medicine called a beta blocker. These medicines block beta receptors in various parts of the body. Blocking the beta receptors in the eye reduces the amount of aqueous humor that is produced. Timolol therefore also reduces the inflow of aqueous humor into the eyeball and so decreases the pressure within the eye. The combination of these two medicines is used to lower the pressure in the eye when a beta blocker eye drop does not lower the pressure enough on its own. Eye drops are used to produce a local effect in the eye with minimal effect on other parts of the body. So you can further minimize the amount of medicine that is absorbed into your bloodstream and increase the local action in the eye by pressing on your tear duct, the corner of the eye closest to the nose while putting in the eye drops and for a minute after. So combigen is to be used with caution if you have severe or unstable and uncontrolled disease involving the heart and blood vessels, so cardiovascular disease. If you have a history of severe heart disease, heart failure, decreased blood supply to the heart. So people with angina, for example, a severe form of angina pectoris, not caused by exertion. And regarding pregnancy and breastfeeding, the safety of this medicine during pregnancy has not been established. It should not be used during pregnancy unless considered essential by a doctor, as it may be absorbed into the bloodstream and could be harmful to the unborn baby. It is not known if bromodendine passes into breast milk. However, Timbalol does pass into breast milk after application to the eye. These eye drops should not be used by breastfeeding mothers. So the side effects associated with the eye drops would be red eye due to increased blood supply, burning sensation in the eye, also eye stinging, itching, irritation or dryness and pain or discharge, inflammation of the membrane that lines the inside of the eyelids and outside of the eyeball causing redness and discharge or conjunctivitis, inflammation of the eyelids, and corneal erosion and the sensation of something being in the eye, eyelid swelling, redness or itching and sleepiness. So for more information about any other possible risks associated with this medicine, you need to read the patient information leaflet that comes with the medicine or talk to your doctor or pharmacist. How can this medicine affect other medicines? If you're using more than one type of eye drop, you should administer them administer them at least five minutes apart to prevent the second drop washing away the first one and you use eye gels or ointments last. The manufacturer states that these eye drops should not be used by people taking any of the following medicines. So monoamine oxidase inhibitor, so they're antidepressants like phenylzine, tricyclic antidepressants such as amitriptyline, 
and related antidepressants, for example, myanserin. Also in people with diabetes, timolol can prolong the lowering of blood sugar, so which could be hypoglycemia caused by insulin or other anti-diabetic medicines. People with diabetes should monitor their blood sugar while using these eye drops, as timolol can also mask the signs of hypoglycemia. The timolol in these eye drops may enhance the effects of the following medicines taken by mouth, which may result in low blood pressure or a slower heart rate. So beta blockers such as atenolol, calcium channel blockers such as nifedipine or verapamil, digoxin, and medicines for abnormal heart rhythms. So these are antiarrhythmics such as amiodarone and medicines for high blood pressure. If the medicine clonidine is suddenly stopped, it can cause an increase in blood pressure. This increase in blood pressure may be worse in people taking beta blockers, including eye drops such as this one. Beta blockers oppose the action of medicines for asthma that open the airways, which is why these drops should not be used by people with asthma or other breathing difficulties. So that brings this telehealth video to an end. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below or contact me through my website, mytelehealth.info, or call into us at Lynch's Pharmacy, Douglas and Cork. Or you can ring us at 021-436-6923 to find out more. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.